Hey y'all. All right, so welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be working on some adorable pillows. As you see in the photos, they are so stinking cute. These pillows could go with boho, they can go with your farmhouse decor, they can really just go with any decor. Um, put them on your bed, put them on your couch, sit them next to your ottomans. I mean, just anything you want to do with these pillows. They're so super cute and so simple and so cheap. They are so affordable to make. Uh, one of the pillows, we're using a Dollar General rug. It's actually a bath mat. And that will be our first one here. So what I did was first, obviously, I uh, took the tags off. Now I'm showing you here, this is some material that I bought from Walmart. It was a dollar a yard. So I got like two yards of it. A pillow, now I, and then an old pillow that um, has just seen better days. So I use, when I'm making pillows, I use um, the cheap pillows that you can buy at Walmart or even Dollar General store. Um, they are like two bucks for a whole pillow. And then I just kind of dissect the pillow, take it apart, use the stuffing out of it. It is way cheaper than buying the polyfill. So to start off here, we've got the rug. I'm, I'm uh, hot gluing down the side. I folded it in half. Now I'm going to hot glue down this side. You just want to make sure it's good and stuck. Um, just keep, you know, working with it. You're going to hot glue down the other side, just like you did the first one. This pillow turns out so cute. It is actually cuter than what I had anticipated. It, oh, it's just so cute. So mash it down there, just like you did the other one. All right, now once you get that done, you're going to go about halfway um, through this middle section. You don't want to close it all the way because obviously we have to stuff it, but you do want it closed enough that it's going to hold your stuffing in. So about halfway, three-fourths of the way, something like that. Mash it down good. Make sure if you've got any little openings that you feel like is going to come open, go ahead and add a little more hot glue. So once you get that done, just take your pillow or your polyfill. If you have a polyfill, okay, um, if you want to use these pillows like this, this is so, it's just so much cheaper. So I just cut a little slit in it, open it up a little bit, and then I start pulling that stuffing out, shove it in the other one. I just find that it's way cheaper to do it this way. Now when you pull that stuffing out, I kind of pull mine and stretch at it and, you know, kind of fluff it, uh, I guess. Just kind of get it separated a little bit so it'll kind of go further. You just want to push it in there. Make sure you push it up in the corners real good. And just keep going until you get it as full as you want it to be. Now, I wanted mine pretty full because I wanted this to really sit up good and, and look like a pillow, you know, have it not at all look like a bath mat. It really turned out so cute. I ended up making two of these exactly the same that I'm going to use on my bed. So once you've got it filled, you're just going to close in that little hole that you left using your hot glue. And I use regular hot glue. I didn't use fabric glue or anything like that. I just used the regular. And there you go. So stinking cute. I just love this pillow. All right, so for the next one, I've got some of my material. And now this material felt like, like t-shirt material. It had that real soft uh, feel to it. It was just it, fantastic, actually, for the price that it was. A dollar a yard, you can't beat that. So I, I actually think I bought two yards of this because there were a couple other DIYs that I wanted to use it for. But what I did was take my pillow, uh, my the old pillow that I was going to cover, I just took it and laid it down there on the uh, material, folded it over it, kind of, figured out how big it needed to be, and then just cut around the pillow. Now, you could probably measure all this and get it to an exact science, but 
this is crafting DIY. <laughs> I'm not measuring anything. I'm just going with it. So after I got it folded over, I'm just going to take it and flip it inside out, fold it in half, flip it inside out, and then I'm going to start hot gluing. So you're going to go down the side just like you did the other one. I'm giving it a generous amount of hot glue since this is the t-shirt material. It's, you know, kind of thin and it, it'll be fine. You're not going to feel it or see it or anything. So go ahead and, and pump that hot glue to it. Go ahead and give it quite a bit so that it'll stay together real good. So you just add that hot glue and then mash it down just like you did the other pillow. Make sure it's good and closed. got it stuck to my fingers there a little bit <laughs> all right so I flip it over we still have it inside out you're gonna go down the other side there I did take my the pillow and put it back in there just to make sure that I didn't have too much and I believe I did end up having a little too much so I cut some off the edge there just to make it shorter make it fit the pillow a little more snug and I just followed the stripes as far as to get myself a pretty even line there. I just followed down the stripe. So once you get it just like you want it, you're just going to hot glue it, like I said. Seems like when you do these videos and you're trying to do the voiceover for it, when you're hot gluing, hot glue takes forever to dry. I mean, it really doesn't take that long to dry and like get stuck. But when you're waiting, doing the voiceover, it seems like it is forever. All right. So I shoved my pillow back in there. Once I got my two sides done, I just flipped the material under so that you couldn't see the edge of it. I'll show you here in just a second. I just wanted to make sure I had it good on the sides and in there real good. See, I just kind of flipped it over so that you couldn't see the edge of the uh, material there. Give it a more clean, tailored look, I guess you'd say. And I just started hot gluing. Just fold it down and start hot gluing that dude. Remember to give it, you know, a generous amount of hot glue. You don't want it so much that it's seeping out, but I mean, you do want enough that it's going to... I wanted mine to be pretty... Uh, um, I don't know how, what the word I'm looking for is, but where they were going to stay together really good because these are going on my couch. The first one I did is going to go on my bed, but now this one here and the next one are both going on my couch and I want them to, they're probably going to be used and the kids are going to be with them and whatever. So I wanted them to stay together good. There it is. So cute. Such a cool way to take an old pillow that's worn out and has seen better days and make it something new. All right, so for this last one, there's the ticket for my two pieces of material. $3, guys, for three yards of material. That's fantastic, especially when it's the t-shirt material because usually that's like six something of a yard, I think. So anyways, I took this and I wanted this pillow to be a little bigger. So I just cut myself out a big square, more rectangle-ish, I guess you'd say, because I am going to do something a little different with this pillow. We're going to be folding it over and adding some embellishments and whatnot. So... Anyways, you're just going to do the same exact thing as you did before. You're going to fold it over, fold it inside out, fold it in half, and then start hot gluing down the sides. Now, once you get the sides done, you're going to go down the middle, that last opening that you have, and only go about halfway. Like I said before, we're going to go about halfway so that you have, you'll be able to fill the pillow. See there how I'm giving it quite a bit of hot glue, just giving it a pretty generous amount.
to be careful when you're doing this if you do end up uh, purchasing the t-shirt material because boy that hot glue that heat from the hot glue comes through it really really good I think I cut it off a little bit just to kind of straighten it out, even it out. It wasn't um, cut just right. So I have gotten both the sides done. Now I'm actually doing the uh, middle portion where you're going to stuff the pillow. So like I said before, you just go about halfway. Fold that down, make sure it's good and stuck. All right, so you got your open in there. You're going to pull it right side out. Once you've got all, both sides uh, hot glued down, half of your middle, you're going to fold it or pull it right side out. Because when you started out, you had it inside out. So now you're just going to do it right side out. So that the side that you want showing is, you know, out there on the, on the outside. So just stuff it. I hope I explained that right. Surely you guys could tell by the what you you know you're watching that you fold you get it inside out. You start out with it inside out and then you pull it right side out. Okay, so you're just gonna stuff it just like before. And I got two full pillows out of that one um, bag of of pillow or whatever that one pillow. I ended up being able to make two full pillows and then still had some left over so for like a dollar 98 i think is how much those pillows are at walmart it was worth it so i made sure to get it in the sides real good just work with it until you get it you know how you'd like for it to be now now is when i took it and i i had extra end i had made it a little longer so that i would be able to fold it over i wanted that you know just to add a little different look to it so i go ahead and close it up with the hot glue leaving myself that material where i can fold it over I'm so proud of how these pillows turned out. They really turned out cute. All right, so then I'm gonna fold it over. Fold that part under a little bit so that the seam is not showing. Made sure to fluff it out where it was all even, get it all smoothed out. See there how I kind of tucked it under so that the edge would not be showing? So you just fold that under there. Take your hot glue and start to hot glue. You're gonna hot glue it directly to the pillow. Just that fold that you've made, see there? You just fold it down and hot glue it directly to the, to the pillow. It just adds a little character to the pillow, you know, makes it a little different. I thought just, it was this plain gray but I, I, I just needed a little something, so I wanted to do one a little different. Plus, try my hand at doing a little different. I've made pillows before, but not really custom pillows, I guess you'd say. So, so once I got that middle portion glued down, I took the sides of that fold and glued those down also. So that you couldn't, like, stick your hand up underneath there anymore. You're going to get that folded in there good. Once I got that glued down good and made sure it was going to hold, I took buttons that I got at the Dollar General store. They were blue. I, that's the back side of them. So they were blue. I got them at, no, I got them at the Dollar Tree, actually. I bought those at the Dollar Tree. I painted them white, and then I just hot glued them directly to the pillow. I wasn't going to do the whole needle and thread thing. And I mean, you could have if you want to. You can do that for sure. They probably stay on a little better, but... I just wanted to 
get them on there and I'm a hot glue kind of girl. So I think it just adds a little character to this pillow. I think it is so super cute. I believe I did six buttons. I started in the middle. That way I would know how many to go through each side. That way it would be pretty even. But I, so I started with one button in the middle and then went from there to each side. So now you've got your fold and your buttons and it just added a little something to this pillow. So easy to make guys. I did all three of these pillows in probably 30 minutes. I mean, it was, it took no time to do this. Pull off any of the hot glue uh, strings you got there. Make sure nothing comes up between the, the button holes, you know, just so it's cute. Fluff it out, and there you go. I hope you guys enjoy these. So stinking cute. There they are on my bed. I just think it goes so well together. That you could use them in the living room, your bedroom, just wherever. I think that one right there is my absolute favorite. I love that pillow. Just too cute. I mean, they're great by themselves. They look awesome all together. They just turned out so stinking cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, that's awesome. If you are not subscribed yet, I wish that you would please think about doing so. That would be awesome. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. And you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you.